Hello, Internet. I'm Alex from Onion Party, and this is... Uh, who are you? Other guy. Jared. This, this is one of the Jareds. This is the one we have before the 9pm chocolate milk swap out. Uh, and we're here to talk to you today about a very special video, a very, spe very special project that we're working on. Um, you know, we normally focus on PC games, but we've had it in the back of our mind for a while now that we'd like to do some console exclusive stuff. Final Fantasy VII. Uh, and Ava Media actually. Not a sponsor. Kind of a sponsor. Came to the party <laughs> and, uh, and they actually sent us some stuff for us to use to set up a PS4 Capture Studio, which we're going to do in our lounge room. So let's see what they brought us. Uh, they What's that, Alex? Uh, is this- What's that, Alex? This is the front. This is the Livestreamer 311 kit. Now this actually has a- It's got the webcam, a USB microphone, and a HDMI capture card. Ooh. All in one. So if you just wanted to get started, and you know, you're making your first foray into streaming, it's not a bad choice. They also sent us, because they're very nice- What's that, Alex? A second microphone, so we got two now. Um, so we're going to put both of those together in our build. And they also sent us, and this is what I'm most excited about. They sent us the uh, Live Gamer Ultra USB capture card. Oh! Uh, this is one of the top of the line capture cards, actually. Um, so we're going to unbox these. We're going to go through each one, look at what's inside, uh, and have a little bit of discussion about what we're going to do with them. Um, we have two different capture cards across these, so we're going to talk about which one we're going to use for our PS4 and why. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right. First up, we have the Livestreamer 311 kit, which contains a bunch of goodies. The Livestreamer Cam 313. The AM310 USB microphone. A random piece of cardboard. And the Live Gamer Mini, or GC311. Unboxing the webcam, we find the webcam. And a weirdly dense block of foam. The Livestreamer Cam 313 is a 1080p 30fps webcam with a few nice features. It has a privacy shield you can slide over the lens for when you're not using it. It connects via a generous length USB cable. It opens up and can sit on top of your monitor. It swivels left to right so you can get that perfect shot. And it's also got a quarter inch screw hole in the bottom for mounting solutions. It also comes with a manual. And that's about it. Next up is the AM310 microphone. This is a USB connection cardioid microphone designed for use on your desktop, although you can also mount it elsewhere. What is happening?
The unit itself is very hefty and feels solidly made. It has a volume control on the front, which doubles as a press to mute button. Around the back is a 3.5mm audio port for headphones. You could use this to either monitor the microphone itself or as a sound output from your computer. It connects via a standard USB A to B type cable. The base of the microphone screws into the included mount. Inside the black box are the parts we need for assembly. USB cable, mic mount, washer, shaft, and the base. The base of the microphone screws into the ring on the mount. The mount itself can then screw onto a 5 8 screw head. For mounting on some arms, like the Rode PSA-1, you may need a 5.8 to 3.8 adapter. It also comes with a helpful manual. Finally, there is the Live Gamer Mini Capture Card. This is a HDMI pass-through capture card that can support 1080p 60fps off a simple USB connection. It's so tiny! And it is tiny. Seriously, it's super small. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's the magic box. It's got a HDMI input, a HDMI output, and a micro USB port. That's all there is to it. The included cable is braided and a generous length. And it comes with an instruction manual. So that's the streamer kit. A nice little ensemble for someone just getting started on live streaming. I'm particularly impressed by the generous USB cable length, but you do need to provide your own HDMI cables for the capture card. We also received a second AM310 USB microphone, which is available for purchase separately. We'll be putting that one to good use. Finally, there's the big boy, the Live Gamer Ultra Capture Card, the powerful but still portable bigger brother to the Live Gamer Mini. The Live Gamer Ultra works in much the same way, but it can do up to 4K 30fps capture with 4K 60fps pass-through. It can also record 1440p at 60fps or 1080p at 120fps. In the box, we've got the capture card itself. Slightly bigger, but not by much. Same as the Live Gamer Mini, it has a HDMI input, a HDMI output, and a USB-C port. It's a little bulkier due to the cooling requirements, but it's still portable. It includes a USB-C to USB-3 cable for connecting it to your PC. This one does include a HDMI cable. It includes a software key for PowerDirector 15 for video editing. And finally, it comes with a manual. We've got two capture cards here, but for our setup, we're going to use the Live Gamer Ultra for a few reasons. One is that it's the bigger and fancier one, and I want to play with it the most. Two is that while both capture cards can do their own hardware encoding through RE Central, the Ultra is the one that supports H.265 encoding, which is more efficient than H.264. You can't use that for streaming, but you can use it for recording, and it will cut the size of our recordings in half. Super useful for long recording sessions. The Ultra can also do higher resolutions, but we don't have a 4K TV.
that's what we got, eh, Alex? That is what we got. Um, I enjoyed know, that unboxing. That was fun. Um, well, I actually wasn't expecting to get so many things from Ava Media. They're like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll send you a capture card and, you know, a microphone. And it's like, why can't I hold all these products? Um, so that's it for this part. Next part, we're actually going to go through physically setting it up uh, in the lounge space. Are we going to kick Kate out? No, because it is a lounge still. We'd like to still use it. So we're going to try and keep this set up as minimal as possible. Ah, you know? Open concept. Yeah, open plan gaming. Um, so yeah, we're, go we're going to put it all together. We'll show you how to hook everything up and how you might want to position your microphones and your webcams. Um, we're going to be using a few things we've got around the house. She may or may not have, but there's a few different ways to do it. Yeah, yeah, that sounds exciting. Yeah, I'm, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that part the most. So yeah, um, join us next time. And thank you, Ev Media. Yeah. Did I say that name right? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs>